Hello, I'm Beth. Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me for this mindfulness-based meditation video. In this video, I'm going to explore the theme of uncertainty. Uncertainty is something that for many of us can make us feel anxious, can make us feel uncomfortable. Dealing with the unknown, it might give us that feeling of pit in our stomach, it might cause us to ask a lot of what-if questions. So you may have heard the idea or the concept that the only thing we can be certain about is the present moment. So we'll do a little bit of exploring the present moment and also explore this sense of uncertainty, coming back to the present and grounding ourselves in the present. To start, find any comfortable seat. Your comfortable seat can also be lying, as long as you can be in a place where you're still alert, still able to be attentive and listening to my voice. And really the foundation of mindfulness is choosing how to direct your attention with intention and with curiosity and also kindness and compassion for yourself. So as we start, we're going to have sort of a you are here moment. We may not be certain of what's going to happen next, but we're certain of right now, this moment. So notice yourself in this moment. I'm going to invite you to take your attention to your body. It might be your sense of your feet on the floor if you're sitting like I am. Maybe you can feel the parts of your back body that are touching your seat, your chair, even if you're lying, the backs of your legs, your back, lying on a bed or a couch. So feel the solidity of that. Feel the solidity of whatever you're lying on, supporting your body. You might even think of the earth underneath you, the foundation of the room that you're in. See if you can get a sense of, at least in this moment, right this second, right now, this moment, and then this moment, you are in a secure, a safe, a solid place. You are on strong footing right at this moment. And then here's where we're going to play around with some projections about uncertainty. We'll be coming back to this moment again and again. So to start, I want to ask you to envision what you might be doing a minute from now. Now you probably guessed that this, this video might run a little longer than a minute, but you'll still be here listening to me. How certain are you feeling about that? You might feel pretty certain. And yet we don't know. Something could interrupt the video. You could lose the internet. So be aware that there is some uncertainty about that, even though you're pretty sure about what's going to happen a minute from now. And then take yourself back to those sensations of being seated, feeling the body, being supported. Maybe there's other sensations. Maybe you're outside. You can feel the warmth of the sun or the air on your skin. And then let's take another projection and think about maybe about 15 minutes from now. What is your sense of what you'll be doing around 15 minutes from now after this video is over? And again, you might have a, a decent idea of what you plan to do next, where you'll be. How certain are you of that? You might still be feeling pretty certain and yet also aware that things can get in the way, things can change. So know that this moment where you are right now, we're in a different moment than we were a few moments ago and yet you're still here, still being supported, still on solid ground. So now let's think about tomorrow. And you might think of the same time tomorrow, whenever this time that you're watching the video is for you. So if it's the morning, think about tomorrow morning. If it's another time of day, think about that same time of day tomorrow. Where will you be? You might have a sense of your activities will be similar. Maybe you'll be doing school or work, a sport 
leisure activity. And yet know that all the space between today and tomorrow could change those things. Something could happen. Things could be different. Know that. Perhaps even feel a little bit more uneasy or uncertain about that. And then again, bring your attention back to this moment. Feel the certainty of where you are, the solidity of being seated or being lying, the security of your safe, solid place right now. We'll do a few more projections. Now we're going to go into a month ahead. And already you might be feeling a little bit more uncertain about what's a month from now going to bring. Perhaps you have some pretty strong routines and you have a good sense of where you'll be a month from now. Let's look at the same date in the next month. Do you know what that's going to be? You might have a sense of knowing and also realize that there's a lot of not knowing in that sense. A lot of variables that can change could be different. Know that, be aware of that, acknowledge any feelings that that brings up, any feelings of maybe a a little bit of discomfort in the pit of your stomach, a fluttering. And once again, bring yourself back to here, to now, to the present. If you need to place your hands on your body and feel the solidity of that or wiggle your feet on the floor, do that to remind yourself that you are here, you're in this place right now. So we'll look at just two more projections. Going to a year from now, the same month, the same day, a year from now. What's likely to be happening in your life then? Perhaps there's still some circumstances that you have a good sense of. If you're working, maybe you'll still be at your same job. If you're in school, you might have another year or two of school to go. And yet notice how as we go out further to the future, it feels a little bit more fuzzy. The picture isn't as clear as when we did 15 minutes from now. Notice whether that fuzziness, that uncertainty of the picture brings any different feelings within you. That's completely natural. The further we project out, the more unbalanced we feel. And then yet, take yourself back to this moment and notice the balance. Notice the solid footing. This moment hasn't changed. You're still on just as solid ground as when we started. One last projection. Let's take a moment to imagine 10 years from now. 10 years from now, maybe it's hard to call to mind at all. If you're in school, you might be out of school and you don't know what job you're going to have. Maybe you don't plan to be in the same job 10 years from now. You know that you'll have a change in career. Maybe you'll be moving toward retirement or starting a family or some totally different thing in your life that is completely unanticipated or maybe it is anticipated but hard to picture, hard to imagine. So notice some of those things that go through your head. Notice what easily comes to mind, what doesn't come to mind. Recognize that this is less certain than 15 minutes from now than tomorrow. And we accept that by simply acknowledging that that's the case. Accepting doesn't mean that we like it. We may not like it at all. That is totally natural. So whatever that uncertainty that you have, that unpleasantness, that off-balance feeling about where you might be 10 years from now, recognize it. Know that that is a human characteristic of we can't predict the future. We feel a little off balance in the face of that uncertainty. And then bring yourself back to now one more time. Whatever the feelings of now are that are solid and secure. 
And of course, there might be some unpleasantness, some off balance associated with this moment. At the same time, notice right now, as you're listening to me, right now you are safe. Right now you are secure. Right now you're being supported by your chair, your couch, your bed, the floor, the foundation, the earth. The final thing we're going to do in this exercise is think back over the past year. Likely the past year has had many twists and turns for you, for most of us. When we look back to the past year, there were some things that we thought were likely to happen, some things that knocked us for a loop were totally unanticipated. When you face those things that were unexpected, challenging, difficult, what helped you get to now? So you might look back and think, I didn't handle that very well, yet you're still here now. However you handled it, you're still here now. What helped that to happen for you? What were your internal strengths or qualities? Your resilience, your go-gettedness, your ability to maybe move through tears, move through discomfort. Who were the supports around you? Who did you lean on? What did you turn to? What were the resources you had available to you during those difficult times? Did you turn to meditation practices like this one? Did you exercise, do yoga, spend more time in your hobbies? Notice how whatever uncertainties, whatever unexpected things you faced in the past, you found a way through them. There may have been times where you felt unbalanced, where you felt uncomfortable. And you walk through those things, maybe with a little bit more strength, a little bit more wisdom, a little bit more ability to get to this moment, this you are here, and to contemplate as you continue moving that path forward, how you're going to do that not what's going to happen, because we don't know that, but how you're going to take the internal and external resources that have served you well to this point in your life and move with them forward, continuing to take that one step at a time, whatever happens. So I hope that you'll continue to take some time to reflect on that last part that we talked about today, What are your resources? What are your strengths? Sometimes it's hard to call those things to mind. And I encourage you over the next day, next few days, when you face something unexpected, maybe it's as silly or simple as getting the wrong order in Starbucks. Notice how you manage that, how you handle that. Is it your caring, your kindness? What gets you through? Is it your patience? We all have qualities that help each of us deal with uncertainty that we can take forward. I hope you found this helpful and useful. Please comment below um, if you have feedback to share and check out the other practices on my channel. Subscribe if this is useful to you. Thank you so much. Have a very good day.